One valuable lesson that I learned is that you got to be careful when you're joking. Sometimes your joke can hit the target, but it will also hit everybody that has to deal with the same issues that that target has to deal with too. Stay tuned to this video and listen to my perspective. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. One thing that I learned about joking is you can offend a ton of people with one joke even if it's not meant maliciously. So I had to be careful because I used to joke a whole lot. So let me give you an example. It was one time I seen, I think it was Floyd Mayweather arguing with one of his friends or something like that and he was talking about how broke they are. It was like, you don't even got a house. You don't even got this. You don't even got that. And everything that he was naming off to ridicule this person was reflective upon the masses. So when you don't even got no house. A lot of people don't own a house. You broke. A lot of people is considered broke based upon what you comparing it to. Or you ugly because your woman ain't this. He didn't say that, but I'm saying, you gotta be very careful about those harmful things because you're gonna hit way more people and you can affect way more people just by dogging somebody's life on a public platform. Now you can look at a woman, that's why they call it fat shaming. You can look at someone that's slightly overweight or overweight and then you start roasting them and roasting them and roasting them. And then when it's somebody that sit back and looks similar to them, they feel like all those jokes apply to them. And that goes in all walks of life. When you talk about somebody who's broke because they don't got a house or a car or they don't got this, what about all those people you offended that's riding the bus or don't own a house or whatever it may be? Or you ain't doing nothing with your life, you ain't got no job, and they not listening to the fact of that person telling them how much they're working. I'm filling out apps, I'm going here, I'm going here, but you doing it on a public platform. This person is no good, ain't got no job, ain't got none of this, but you missing a whole lot of context that can make other people feel some type of way. And this is how you can get people to dislike you and you won't know why they dislike you. You can go around with your day and be like, man, this person is acting funny towards me. And they won't tell you because you offended them. You joked on somebody else and you never even threw no jokes at them. But they felt like your jokes were at them because it resonated the same. So I'm here to say that. Make sure you be careful when you joking in a harmful way on a public platform because some things I know is not intended to be harmful. Like me and one of my friends, we was arguing and not arguing, we was joking in um, college. And I went to a place called Youngstown State in Ohio. And he was from Cleveland. And he got a couple answers wrong on the, on the test or whatnot. And I was like, there it is, that Cleveland education. And we was clowning because he'd be like, you know, with that masculine education where I'm from, you guys test scores. And I'd be like, you test scores. And we was friends. But when I say that, if I was to say that publicly, I'm like, with your Cleveland education, what about all the people in the city of Cleveland are going to feel like I'm calling them dumb when it's not meant that way? We're just joking. So that's what I want to say. Be careful about your jokes when you're on pl public platforms because you don't know who is going to offend, who is going to rub the wrong way. Not even public platforms. You really got to watch out when you're just doing it in a mass of people. You don't know who is going to offend. It's going to rub somebody the wrong way. Somebody can feel slighted or feel like they need to get you back and they won't even tell you. So just be careful because this could be a reason why you don't like somebody or somebody don't like you. Thank you for taking out the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to get one of my shirts or a book or anything like that. You can get it in the description box below. Also, continue to reach out to me on social media. I love the fact that y'all are doing that on Instagram, sending me messages. I reply to everybody. Thank you once again.